hey guys welcome back to my channel today is another transformation video and i am going to be showing you how to transform this black t-shirt into a beautiful lace-up bodycon dress that you can wear to the club you can wear on date night you can wear it wherever you want and this is what the dress looks like i am so pleased with this result mostly because it looks so pretty i know it's a bit too sexy maybe for some people and that's okay i like the dress and if you like it too, let me show you how to make it. First things first, get a bodycon dress that you like the fit of and trace the shape onto your massive shirt. For all those wondering, I used an extra extra large shirt, so XXL. You want to have a lot of fabric to work with, that way you have a dress that actually looks like a dress. So yeah. I also pinned the shape in place that way the t-shirt would not move about as I was cutting. I wanted this to be snatching my figure in all the right places. Once I pinned everything down, I just cut off the excess fabric as you can see. Taking my sweet time cutting that fabric because I cut really slow which is kind of a talent at this point. Once the fabric was off, measure the length from your shoulder to your waist. This is where you want the lace-up detail to reach. And once you have that, just mark that point. Mine was 37.5 inches. I just drew a straight line across that point. That way I would cut a straight line. And once that was done, I just cut off my fabric into two pieces. And I had my bottom and my top. Once you're at this point, we're going to work on the top for now. And all I'm doing now is I'm marking one and a half inches all around. We're about to create the halter neck shape. That way it is kind of a halter neck, not kind of, it is actually a halter neck dress. And once I had my one and a half inches, I just drew a straight line down as you just saw. And then I cut off that bit of fabric. I then took out all the pins because I wanted to lay my fabric open and flat, so yeah. Once the pins are all out, I lay my piece down and this is what it looks like at this point. Just finish cutting off that excess fabric on both the front and side and you will have a halter neck shaped dress top thingy. <laughs> You'll have a halter neck shaped top at this point. Now what I'm doing is I'm marking half an inch on all sides. This is to hem my armholes. So I just wanted to mark this. That way I could cut up to that point and my top was not looking uneven and funny. So after I'd marked my points, I just went in with my scissors and I cut off that bit, that very small bit. And once that was done, I moved on to the front of my top and I marked the mid point because this is where your lace-up detail will go and after I'd marked my midpoint I marked an inch on each side this is going to be the hem or rather the casing for your string once I was marked I just cut the straight line that way my top would be split into two not completely leave the collar on at this point the neckband is not a collar and as you can see, I'm also cutting a bit of the hem up to the one inch point on each side. And now I'm just going to fold this piece of fabric to create a casing for our string, which is the lace up detail on the front of the dress. And I just pinned that in place, that way it would stay put as I was sewing. I did that to the other side as well, obviously, it's on both sides, so you need to do both sides. Unless you want to lace up on one side and that would not work. So just trust me on this and do both sides. Once you've done that, this is what your top looks like and I just joined the sides together. That way I could sew it all together. sides were pinned I decided to take out one pin that way I could hem the armholes at this point you can do a rolled hem which is what I did but I just folded that bit of fabric that way everything would look crisp and clean and professionally made 
Once all the armholes were pinned down, you're just going to sew everywhere these pins. I recommend you use a zigzag stitch, that way your fabric doesn't come undone at any point. I'm just showing you all the points because I'm being thorough and you should appreciate that and give this video a like. Also at this point you can sew the sides of the skirt, that way you have a bottom to attach your top to. Once you've sewn everything, this is what your top should look like. As you can see, we have the casing on the inside, which is looking cute. Now you're going to take your bottom bit, and with the right sides kissing, you're going to flip this over, such that the ends are meeting, if that makes sense. What I usually do is I start with pinning the side seams, that way everything else can align together. That's why you're seeing me starting with the side seams. And then I'm going to pin everything together so that you can sew and your top will be attached to your skirt. At this point, you're going to use a lot of pins because you do want this to stay taut and in place. You don't want your fabric moving around as you're sewing. So make sure everything is pinned to perfection, darling. Pinned to perfection. And I just merrily pinned away without a care in the world, enjoying my life and enjoying pinning, which is a hobby at this point. <laughs> and once everything is pinned, you're going to sew around. Again, use a zigzag stitch, that way she stays taut. Tight, okay, that was stupid. Anyway, moving on, this is what your dress looks like at this point. We have our dress. Now we're going to make our string, and all I did was I took those side panels that we had, and I just cut the longest string I could get. About an inch thick is enough. Mine was pretty uneven, but it still worked fine, so yeah. Once you have your string, just cut off the ends because you don't want that bulky bit showing in your final dress and stretch the hell out of this string. So t-shirt material stretches quite easily and this makes it very easy to stretch and make it into a string-like material. As you can see, we now have a beautiful string. Don't worry about that bulky bit, we will hide it, you will see how. Right now, all I'm doing is I'm marking the points I'm going to lace up my dress. I started with half an inch and then one and a half inches going down. Once you've done this on both sides, you're now going to cut some triangular tabs into your top. This is where you're going to lace your dress through. So just make small triangles and you'll be good. I actually recommend folding the dress in half and doing this to both sides so that you have equal bits on each side. I just did one side at a time because at the time I hadn't thought of doing that. So that's a tip for you. You're welcome. Once you repeat that on the other side, this is what you have. And now it's time for the final step and that is lacing up our dress. Put in some safety pins on both ends of the string, that way you can lace your dress up quite easily. And you're just going to crisscross this, start with putting it through one triangular tab on each side and then start crisscrossing. So remember that bulky bit I was telling you about? I just hid it in one of the triangular tabs that way no one could see it and I was good to go. So now I'm just crisscrossing it and making a beautiful lace-up detail for this dress. I took my sweet time lacing this baby up because we want it to fit like a glove and actually the good thing with this kind of detail is that you can widen the string if that makes sense as you're wearing the top and then tighten it when you have it on your body so it just makes it very cinched in and snatched which is something I love about this lace-up detail in this dress. Once everything is nice and laced up, you're now going to tie a beautiful bow at the end of your lace and obviously take out your safety pins, they are not part of the attire in this case. And once you're done, that's it, you have this beautiful bodycon dress, I am so in love with it, I hope you are too. Let me know if you're going to be trying this, obviously, let me know what else you'd like to see. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, hopefully I will catch you in my next upload. Until then. Then, take care of yourself and don't do drugs.
Okay, bye. <laughs>